I am Chelsea Mulligan and also known as the Dispensary Whisperer. And I am here today doing a couple of different interviews for Respect My Region. Today, to begin with, we have Bill Levers from Beard Bros. He is one of two beards and actually three. Um, introduce yourself, please. Hi, I am Bill Levers. I am one half of Beard Bros Farm, uh, a legacy brand who has now um, moved on into some media and extra things besides just products. So started out with as a grower. Yep. And then tell me about the products that you moved into after. Yeah. So cultivation starting in the uh, very late 80s, but early 90s, really on any kind of scale. Um, moved out to California in 2011, uh, where we started building what was what would what, what later would become Beer Bros. Started in 2013 as just a, a flower brand where we were good cultivators. Um, expanded that into a delivery that we had in Los Angeles from about 15 to 18. Um, after that, we uh, were, were lucky enough to secure a license, uh, social equity license in Los Angeles, where we were able to uh, launch RSO products. Um, we weren't able to secure a cultivation, so we were able to uh, get some manufactured products put out. And so now we have RSO available, and I'm um, sure it's well over 100 shops in California by now, and we just launched the tincture line. Amazing. The tinctures are fabulous, by the way. Um, let's talk a little bit about the media. So high level. No. Like, give me what you would like to share. Well, so the, the high level on the media was we realized that um, in cannabis, you can't be a one trick pony anymore. Right. So growing good, growing good weed is not just enough. Uh, it is important, but it's not everything. And so we recognized we needed to um, expand our offerings to people. We had always liked educating people. And so it gave us an opportunity to not only educate, but expand our brand. And so the media came in because we knew that Los Angeles wasn't going to be friendly um, and allow us to uh, get a cultivation license like we had had for years. And so we figured uh, media, very simply put, was an easy way to stay on people's minds while we got our products back on the shelf. Fantastic. Speaking of expansion, so you went from products or cultivation to products to media. Yep. And I think you're expanding a little bit more. We are. We, we are expanding. Let's talk about that. Yeah. So we have, uh, we now currently have products available in Massachusetts through our partners with Ideal Craft Cannabis. We uh, are, well, for the RSO we, syringes yeah. and tinctures or just no, syringes? Tinctures, yeah, just okay. the syringes in, in, in Massachusetts. Um, we are finalizing our deals in Missouri where we were going to have RSO and um, a gummy line of RSO gummy line. Uh, and we just signed a licensing deal. We're going to be curating small farm cannabis in Canada. And so we're no longer just a multi-state brand. We became a multinational brand. How exciting. Yes. So. Is this your first haul of flowers? No, not at all. Not at all. I, you know, we love Hall of Flowers. Uh, Rama, who, who developed this idea, came to us before it was even an idea, before it was even an event, when it was just still an idea. And he said, what do you think about a about a business-to-business -business event where you have um, buyers meeting with hundreds of brands in a one-on-one a, a -on -one type situation to where it's not open to the public? Um, where you can do business. And my initial thought was, listen, as hard as this market is in California and everywhere, this is a great idea. I couldn't get in front of 200 brands or buyers myself in any other place. And so I, we've always been big proponents of Hall of Flowers. It's not our first. We've been at every one. And we, we've supported them ever since. Well, that's actually a, a fill the bit. Let's talk about the new venue, Ventura. Yeah. I love Are it. you enjoying it? I, I, We're right I, by the beach? Right. I love it. What I've seen so far, I absolutely love um, it, leave it to Raman and Danny to find a spot that is something new. It's something fresh. It's something different. You know, if you've been in L.A., there's been sessions over and over and over for years. And generally, they were in warehouses and we were hiding. So the fact that we get to come to a fairgrounds that's known like this. I come to concerts here. Uh, Skull and Roses Grateful Dead concerts are at this at this Ventura County Fairgrounds as well. It's like a week-long music festival. So being able to have cannabis where they traditionally are doing week-long music festivals is certainly a step in the right direction for normalizing uh, cannabis. Wonderful. Well, thank you so much for sharing the time with us today. And that's all.